What's up guys? I'm testing out the new Blue Yeti mic. Super excited about this. I'm kind of mailing in the video, but stick around because I got some important information to talk to you guys about. So we're opening the Taylor Exchange Buy Sell Trade Store in my town, Wichita Falls. It's going to be in the downtown section, the big blue building across from the Highlander restaurant, which many of you guys don't live in my town and don't really know what I'm talking about. But if you go to my Facebook page, Taylor underscore exchange or Instagram, I've been posting about this buy sell trade store that I'm trying to open. The whole idea of it is to get inventory to come to me that I can list on eBay. And then the items that I get from the bigger cities, my Ralph Lawrence, Cinch, Ariat, Vineyard Vines, some of the better brands that are out there, sell them in the store for $20. Just pretty much so people can have something to browse around at while I'm going through their inventory. Now, I'm not necessarily needing to drive that many sales, but I will need to make some money to pay for the rent and I'm gonna eventually get internet. And ideally, I'm gonna have my worker, Randy, who you guys have seen in some of my recent videos, do photos and listings down there, as well as me doing photos and listings there. Now, the other problem that came up is the audio is not good. There's way too many echoes for me to do any YouTube videos out of it, so that is a bit troubling but maybe i'll set up this office right here more of a recording studio and then eventually you know i upgraded the mic this blue yeti was on sale for 89 dollars on amazon but eventually i'll get a better camera than this logitech 1080p uh, webcam and hopefully we can just get closer to looking like a more legit channel but anyway let's just go over today so the art walk is tomorrow. There's an after hours art walk in my town. Pretty much it's an excuse for people to go downtown and drink beer. That's kind of what it is, but a bunch of vendors set up. I'm in the main building that has like most of the art walk. People walk around that kind of square, then they go off onto tangent streets for like some other uh, vendors that are set up with tables and whatnot. So I'm partnering with my friend Sherry. She is an artist from the town next to mine. She actually runs the art department. She brought Imagine moving to a small town and bringing an art department to that high school. That's essentially what she's done. She's really talented and she's going to help bring people into the store. But there's a lot of stuff I need to set up. Like I set up my photo station up there and then I have my desk. I don't have internet yet. I did that yesterday. I also set up the open sign, which is a neon um, LED light. I got that hung up with the help of a woman who was actually just parking kind of near my spot. Not my spot, but near the store. I said, hey, can you help me with this open sign? I told her about the business. I make it a point to explain my business to at least one person every time I go out into the town to run errands. First things first, I'm gonna have to bring a broom and dustpan and a mini trash can just because I'm doing a little bit of work there. Sometimes there's some like debris, things like that. Wanna make sure that I have those things. Now I have a spare broom and dustpan, so I'm gonna bring it from the garage. And then a trash can, I think my wife said I could use one of the ones from the uh, other rooms or something like that because she's gonna replace it. Next, I'm going to bring my third clothing rack to the store. So I bought four clothing racks from the Goodwill. They had them on sale. Well, I mean, they were used, so like their full price was $9.99, but they're $100 on Uline without shipping. So I do need to take one down there. This tub of clothes, tub of clothes is stuff that I'm taking down there. Now, the problem is a lot of the shirts I have are size large, extra large, because most of the stuff I source are bigger sizes for eBay, but there's going to be people that are smaller, like I'm a size medium. There's gonna be smaller guys coming in. Now I do have some mediums, but I have very little smalls and very little like 2XLs. But that, that bin over there has a few more 2XLs. So I've been uh, steaming all of them, you know? Those are washed, but they need to be steamed because the wrinkles don't come out that great when they're folded. So I bought this Jiffy J2000 steamer. My friend Cynthia said to buy it. It's a tremendous steamer. It is awesome. I'm so happy about it. So I got to take that down. I got to steam it. I got to buy one more of the small gray clamps that's going to go for the photo station to hold the carpet on the sides. I was going to screw in the carpet into the half inch plywood for my photo setup, but I think just clamping it's better. I can always like adjust it or move it. I mean, it, it gets the job done. I also need to bring like pump soap or hand soap and then uh, paper towels because I do have a sink in my store, which is kind of unique. And right when Sherry saw it, she said, oh, that would be a great art studio because you have a sink to wash brushes. And I said, no, just because it's a room with four walls and a sink doesn't make it an art studio. It's a buy, sell, trade store, and that's what we're going for. But I would like to have soap, paper, towel because I am um, in there, and I just think it, it'd kind of be convenient to have. Also, I need to figure out how to use Square better. The uh, MagStrip reader for the iPhone, I need to figure out how to set up tap to pay and all that stuff. And then um, 
it looks pretty simple, very not hard. All the shirts in there are gonna be $20 for now. I don't know if I'm gonna go lower. I need to figure out what the town wants, what they can kind of feel comfortable paying. I mean, they're all Ralph Lauren's really good condition, cinch area, vineyard vines. I have dropped in a couple like John Barbados and you know Tommy Bahama, just a couple brands that I think might bring $20. I also need to get a sidewalk sign. Now that's gonna be like the A-frame signs that you can write on dry erase board or chalk. I think that would just be good to have. And then I also need to go to Office Depot because my front of the building is just the windows, but the door, I actually have access to a side door. So I have a sign that I made on Canva. It just says, use side door with an arrow going to the side. I need to get that printed off. I'm just gonna print like, I don't know, like a 13 by nine and just tape it to the window. And it'll probably be, I don't know. Speaking of that, I need to write this down. I need tape, like clear tape because I have some like double-sided tape, but it's like blue. Uh, let's put clear tape, clear scotch tape. Is scotch good enough tape? He's been around. I think scotch is good enough tape. Clear scotch tape uh, should work for the sign. And I bought an air freshener for the place that is on like the automatic timer. So every nine, 18 or 36 minutes, it does a little squirt of air freshener. I have that kind of by the clothes, just to kind of get it. That clean linen smell from a uh, glad, I think is what it was. And that's all I got to do today. So tomorrow is the actual opening. The art walk starts at 5, uh, 5.30 officially. I am having a ribbon cutting ceremony. Sherry got some ribbon and I'm gonna have my parents and pretty much anybody who I've talked to in town, I've been saying, hey, come a little early. We're gonna do a ribbon cutting. I'm pretty much gonna set up the tripod with the phone. I'm gonna record that so I can put it here on YouTube for you guys to see. And then I'll probably make some reels out of it for Facebook and Instagram. Cause I'm trying to pump out like content for my Facebook business page. It's Taylor underscore exchange. It's a good way for me to contact you guys and like uh, you guys contact me and ask questions and we can go back and forth and like share ideas. Also, I'm really excited. So hopefully the mic worked out. I haven't adjusted any of the settings. I pretty much have it right out of the box, but uh, yeah, I'm super excited. Sorry I couldn't give you the best sales of the week. I know that video usually comes out. I've just been really busy trying to set up the store, but just wanted to like touch base with you guys so you guys get an idea of what's going on in my life. I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for the uh, big buy, sell, trade store review video, or not review video, but grand opening video so you guys can uh, see how it went. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.